It doesn't have to be painful to begin using a rapid method. Celsus offers a system that's as easy to use as traditional plating and works on virtually every product. Because every day you aren't using a rapid method, you're losing money. Hello, welcome to this industry update on recent advances in pharma microbiological technologies, part of a series of brief updates on topics of specific interest to you. I'm Michelle Vaccarello Wagner, Senior Digital Editor of PharmaManufacturing.com. In the January 2011 issue of Pharmaceutical Manufacturing, we published an article by Claudio De Noia, Research Fellow and Team Leader with Pfizer Global R&D. The article, an excerpt from a significant new book, Microbiology and Sterility Assurance in Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices, looks at the many new recent analytical methods that have emerged in pharmaceutical microbiology, thanks to advances in molecular biology, chemistry and biochemistry, nanotechnology, and other areas. It's a time of innovation in the field, and Denoya writes that many new technical platforms appropriate for the detection, enumeration, and identification of microorganisms are already on the market. He and other experts call them ARMMs, or Alternative or Rapid Microbiological Methods. In many cases, Denoya sees that new detection technologies require fewer microbial cells to obtain results in significantly shorter time than those obtained through the use of traditional methods. Many of the technologies also offer more accurate and informative data related to the potential contaminant than the information obtained using the conventional assays. Some of these platforms are also semi-automated or fully automated, at least on some steps of the sample manipulation, offering improved throughput and precision. When considering these new technologies, there are 10 attributes that should be looked at, Tenoya says. They include accuracy for the intended purpose, speed and productivity, cost, acceptability by the scientific community and regulatory agencies, simplicity of operation including training requirements and reagents, the reputation of the vendor, technical services provided by the vendor, and finally, utility and space requirements. Next, Denoya considers the adoption of these technologies. While alternative and rapid methods are often considered process analytical technologies, or PAT, and in line with FDA's PAT goals, Denoya says that the general acceptance of alternative microbiological methods, or AMMs, is approximately 10 to 15 years behind process analytical technology. PAT applications developed to monitor chemical reactions usually employ probes placed in line or at line and report results in real time. Genoia finds that ARMMs generally are much quicker than the traditional methods, but cannot provide data as quickly as most PAT methods. Nevertheless, he says, the technologies available to augment detection, quantitation, isolation, and identification of microorganisms have gained momentum in recent years. Since AMMs and RMMs have been embraced to a much greater extent outside of the pharmaceutical industry, scientific or technological hurdles are not the main barriers. Denoya observes that the regulatory and economic concerns have been cited as main reasons for the delayed adoption of AMM in the pharma industry. The initial cost to purchase these instruments can be quite high and validation is expensive and time consuming. The industry generally is risk adverse when regulatory approval is at stake. Inclusion of an AMM as part of an initial NDA has the risk of delaying preliminary approval. Applications of these emerging technologies have been slow to be evaluated in pharmaceutical science, but where there has been an evaluation, there have been some successes. With continued validation, these technologies can provide better sensitivity and improved time to detection, inline or atline testing, automation and high test throughput potential, high labor efficiency, and precise characterization of contaminating species. Denoya discusses feasibility studies that have identified that these technologies can reduce high overhead and cycle times for products in quarantine, as well as assist in in-process, finished product, and validation testing. So are industries concerned about regulatory risk justified? Denoya says, not really. 
To facilitate the adoption of PAT and AMMs, he says the FDA views alternative and rapid methods as fully in line with its PAT initiative, as well as with the principles of quality by design. For instance, he says AMMs and PAT allow processes to be monitored and adjusted before isolation of the final products, thus increasing the probability of delivering a quality product. Since PAT applications may more likely be submitted as a post-approval change, the FDA also has provided guidance on submitting PAT, AMM, or applications as comparability protocols. Approved comparability protocols may have the advantages of reduced regulatory risk or reduced reporting category for implementation. Thank you for listening. Once again, information for this industry update comes from Microbiology and Sterility Assurance in Pharmaceuticals and Medical Devices, a new book from Business Horizons. For more information, visit www.businesshorizons.com. This has been a pharmamanufacturing.com industry update. Ready to get started with rapid methods? Every Celsus system includes installation and on-site training. Plus, we help you start your validation. Leading pharma companies use Celsus, shouldn't you? Get your free guide now.